when you apply for any data scientist role the most important thing in your resume is the project portfolio most of the time you are not getting the calls for the data scientist role or ml engineer roles because of your poor project portfolio in your resume so you need to work on a good set of projects which involves the machine learning and deep learning तो मशीन लर्निंग और डीप लर्निंग सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है डेटा साइंस का और तुम्हारे रिज्यूम में मशीन लर्निंग और डीप लर्निंग बेस्ड प्रोजेक्ट होना बहुत जरूरी है टू गेट अ कॉज फॉर द डेटा साइंटिस्ट रोल इन फैक्ट द मशीन लर्निंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन डेटा डेटा साइंस इट सेल्फ सो योर प्रोजेक्ट मस्ट इंक्लूड द एम एल प्रोजेक्ट विच इन्वॉल्व डाइवर्स सेट ऑफ टॉपिक्स जैसे कि क्लासिफिकेशन रिग्रेशन क्लस्टरिंग एज वेल एज डीप लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट विच इन्वॉल्व यू नो दिस एन एल पी कंप्यूटर विजन तो अगर तुम्हारे डीप लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट्स होंगे जो कि एन और कंप्यूटर विजन बेस्ड है या फिर एम एल प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिसमें कि क्लासिफिकेशन एल्गोरथम्स यूज हो रहे हैं रिग्रेशन क्लस्टरिंग्स देन यू कैन कंसिडर योर रिज्यूम लुक गुड एंड अ गुड सेट ऑफ टेक्निकल प्रोजेक्ट्स यू हैव सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स से यूनिट टू वर्क ऑन अ इमेज क्लासिफिकेशन प्रोजेक्ट विच इज एम एम एल प्रोजेक्ट्स सो वे आर यूनिट टू क्लासीफाई द इमेज इन टू द डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन आई अपलोड एनी पिक्स इन योर प्रोजेक्ट और प्लेटफॉर्म Your platform can able to compute and it can detect whether it's an animal or a vehicle or a building. So basically, it's classify the image according to the whatever the input we are giving it. So this is one of the example of image classification project. Similarly, let's take another example of image classification project will be like you know uh, when you try to classify the image as containing a specific person face or not. So basically, your platform is detecting a specific user based on the pics that we are uploading it. So this is the standard examples of some of the image classification project that you can include in your resume. So better to start your project portfolio with a simple image classification project. Then similar to the image classification project you have, you can also include the sentiment analysis projects, where basically you need to classify the text as a positive, negative, or neutral. For example, let's say consider the example of Google review. So how Google identify a specific review is positive or negative by using the sentiment analysis. so basically this kind of projects if you include in your resume then it will look good that you have worked on diverse set of project similarly like facebook right facebook platform detect any harmful test in their platform and they immediately delete it this is also one of the example of it so what it does it basically analyze the digital text to determine if the emotional tone of a message is positive negative or neutral like you know this imdb rating or twitter comments so immediately any kind of violation will happen they immediately delete those kind of comments or a post so this is also one of the example of classification project so in this classification based project we mostly use the algorithms like logistic regressions new bias svm random forest so lot of these algorithms are involved during the process of development of these projects remember you don't need to just put the project name and description in a resume but complete state steps of the project development process like how is your contribution in the project these details should be present each each and every steps so that the interviewer will get a fair idea how much you contributed in the specific project like you know the first step is you need to first collect the data from the various data sets like the data sets of image containing the target person face is it a positive is it a negative image all the kind of different data sets you need to collect after collections then you need to do the data processing steps that also you need to mention in the resume like using various algorithms you detect a specific comment or you detect a specific image so these things will be mentioned step by step then you need to do the model creations model selections then you need to train the model fine tune the model and then at the end you need to deploy it so all these steps should be mentioned perfectly in logic mojo data science course we cover all this set of projects in detail with lot of case studies in fact you can have a lot of hands on experience in these projects in the logic mojo 7 month data science course now similarly after classification also you can put the regression based project now regression based project mostly occurs like you know this the predicting and forecasting kind of projects like uh, this stock price predictions sales predictions of a company predicting traffic speed predicting house price forecast weather so all these types of projects comes under the regression based project and the steps for developing this kind of project is also same like you know you are doing going to do the data collections then do the data pre processing model selection model tuning training and then followed by you deploy this model so basically the regression based projects must also be present in the resume that is very very important and then after that you can put the tensor flow or pytorch framework based deep learning project in your resume now it's time for deep learning project also so deep learning most important topics are neural networks cnn transfer learning so when you develop this kind of projects you are of course going to use all these tech stacks while developing it the deep learning project so you can uh, use the deep learning with nlp where you can build the chatbot type application which can answers your queries or you can also put the deep learning computer vision based project also now if you go with this set of projects in your resume for a data scientist role it actually add the value to your portfolio and you can get a 
call easily for the data scientist role in the top red companies.